China has offered $24 billion in loans mm -hmm. to build uh, para magkaroon ng Mindanao Rail, Railway, to extend also the railway in Luzon. But the uh, problem is that a fair trade-off? The 24 billion loan, sabi ni Secretary of Finance Dominguez, this is how it will be disbursed. No? Ganito. China will propose three Chinese contractors. The Philippines will bid out the railway project among the three. Hindi pwede yan. So, eh, yung tatlo, madaming project yan. Railway, let's say a dam. Mag-uusap yung tatlo na yun. Akin itong railway sa iyo yan. Eh di, ang labas niyan, it's a rigged price. Oh, yes, rigged. Very costly. Is it a fair no. exchange? They're saying, ah, if you take uh, China money, they will try to say, use their consultants or game. But that has always been the case with the World Bank and Japan. So why can they accuse other people? Na yan ang ginagawa nila for the last 50 years. Kung sa pagbibigay ng loans, the U.S. will give you loans, but the World Bank, pero maraming kondisyon. No? Maraming kondisyon. And ngayon, China is giving them with very little condition through the AIIB or the BRICS banks. Why are we uh, happy so, with, the, with the 24 billion loan? Parang nga nito, North Trail. Ang North Trail, ganyan eh. Ayun ang nangyari eh. Di, di, di yeah. ba? Hindi, tuloy, tuloy, hindi na, you know, it was, it was suspended. It was yeah. cancelled. Cancelled. Uh, because we, too much corruption. We, the drawdown Shocking by the amount Chinese. amount of corruption. 200 million dollars na drawdown from the loan to, for the Chinese contractor. But anong natapos nila? Not a single meter of railroad track natapos. 200 million, sabi ni Secretary Kasi, Dominguez. Kasi ako corruption eh. Sabi ni Sunny Dominguez, every time I sign a check to pay the installment for the 200 million, my hand bleeds. Alam niya yan eh. Kasi walang nangyari. But we have to pay the loan. Because, as you know, if we don't pay the loan, we will cross default on our other loans. So all the other creditors of the Philippines, all the other countries can call their loans. Hey, we don't want that. So we have to pay. Even if China did not build a single meter of railroad track, we have to pay $200 million. That's 10 billion pesos. What I'm saying, hindi fair. And besides, China's interest rates are higher. Very than high. At saka commercial rates eh. Compared to the Japanese loan... And why are we borrowing from them? I, I, you know, the, I, let me connect it to our South yes, China please. problem. Okay. Paano natin ipaglaban itong ruling ng tribunal in our favor kung uutang tayo sa China? China is our biggest creditor. How can we tell China, please comply with the ruling? That's, Aside from the utang to China, <laughs> 24 billion. Meron ka pang utang na loob. Sos ko. Based on purely commercial terms, kawawa tayo. The Japanese loans uh, are concessional. Yes. It's only 0.1%. Yes. And payable in 40 years grace period of 10 years. Okay. The Chinese loans, itong 24 billion, commercial rates, 3 to 4%. Uh, it's no-brainer. Go to, to Japan, get the loan from Japan. And Japan now, be, because they have now followed the international rules, there is, uh, anybody can bid for the project. Yes. It used to be only Japanese only contractors. Only Japanese. At least noon, among Japanese contractors, madami din yan eh, malaki. Mm -hmm. At dito sa China, tatlo lang pipiliin nila. But ngayon, sa Japan, it's open bidding now. All, uh, all countries can join. Japan is giving the lowest interest, 0.1%, because, but their goods are more expensive. Halos doble ang cost. So, bibilangin mo as finance person. China is lending at 2 to 3%. But they are giving us much more and with much less conditions than these other countries. But it's up to us kasi things are taken as a package, hindi naman interest lang o oh, ganyan. Maybe she's lending me cheaper but smaller amount. But I need a bigger amount so I have to talk to you. Maybe you're a bigger amount pero kulang sa support services, sa teknolohiya, ganyan. So I talk to you. So we have to look at the overall.